YouTube. Alright, so this week's video is basically just a colored sketch, but the thing that makes it a little bit different is that I'm using Krita instead of my usual paint tool Psy. So for those of you who haven't heard of it, Krita is a free and open source image editing software, and it is being developed with uh, digital painters and concept artists and illustrators in mind as one of their target user demographics. So I find unlike GIMP, it has a lot of tools available for sketching and working on illustrations as opposed to graphic editing. And one of the coolest things Krita offers, and the reason I ended up downloading it, is that it offers this uh, wraparound mode, which basically allows you to create seamless patterns like the one I'm drawing here. So basically it shows you your canvas several different times and links them all together into one giant canvas, and you can draw it anywhere and it will be immediately duplicated upon every iteration. So you're drawing a seamless pattern on one canvas and you're seeing what the whole pattern is going to look like every single time you make a new brush stroke. Personally, I do still find Paint Tool Sai a lot easier to use. I find Krita's smoothing algorithms just not quite as clean, and I just find it a little bit more difficult to draw with the program, but I have heard a lot of other artists say they really enjoy it, so I think if I put a little bit more time into learning it, I might end up liking it almost as much as I like Sai. So if you are looking for a new art program to play around with, especially something that's not going to cost you very much, in this case not going to cost you anything, I definitely recommend taking a look at Krita and seeing if it's for you. So yeah, this piece was basically just to try and get used to the program a little bit more and figure out some more of the features, like the very complicated and extensive brush presets, so I was playing around with a lot of those. I'm not sure if I'll end up doing anything with this finished piece. It does make a perfect wrap, which is pretty cool, but it's also got a kind of unfinished feeling, and I'm not sure if I like that, or if I want to go back and do something else with the concept. But I definitely feel like I got some good practice in, so in that sense it was definitely a success. So yeah, that's about it for this piece. If you're using an open source or inexpensive art program that isn't Paint Tool Sci or Krita, definitely let me know which one you're using down in the comments and whether or not you like it. Uh, I'm always kind of looking out to see if there's other programs that are easy to get started with. I think I've currently got like six art programs installed on my computer. And yeah, it's really cool to play around with new programs and see if there's features available there that aren't available on my favorite programs. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think down in the comments, and thanks so much for watching!